Welcome back guys, another video. Today we've got this WRX STI Impreza in today. We're doing a full system on this. Um, I don't know much about Subaru, it's a turbo model. Uh, it is a quad exit and the customers give me brief instructions. They basically just said to me, uh, I said, what do you want? He went, I just want to be able to hear it. <laughs> Sounds crap at the minute, so he just wants to be able to hear it. So that's the plan. Plan is today, want a full system on it to sound like a Subaru basically. We're not going to go full ASBO, we want keep it sensible-ish. But yeah, we're going to make it sound like a Subaru. So I'll do a quick before and then we'll do your an after and then I'll, we'll get it out the road, get camera up back and let you hear it in the third person view. So as you can probably hear, that sounds absolutely pants. It doesn't sound like a Subaru, it sounds like a Nissan Micra. So we're going to sort that out today. Full system should sound hell of a lot better than that when we finished. So uh, let's get on with it and we'll do an after shot. See, I don't really often show all this type of stuff, you know, like the strip down and build up and stuff, but if you guys like seeing this type of stuff, tell me and I'll, I'll put more of it on. Right, so I just wanted to have a little chat to you guys about turbo downpipe on this. We've got it all off, by the way. So I've done some of it here today, what I very rarely, rarely do. I always, always build my own stuff. I very rarely buy anything in. But on this occasion for this job, I have bought a part in, and I'm going to show you why. So this is the original downpipe. We'll just bring it close. So on this part is obviously the exhaust exit. So turbo impeller point straight at that. Your exhaust gases go straight down there. But on this side, you've actually got an internal wastegate. So the, the housing on the turbo has got like a, a portion inside here so it doesn't just hit this wall. But basically any, any exhaust gas coming out of the wastegate at full throttle is hitting that wall, 90 degree turn and do that. So on this new one, what I've ordered, look at that for a flow difference. So this is like a big, big cast, like a big cast stainless elbow. So we are going to use this. We, I actually did all the complete downpipe, but this car's an auto, so it doesn't quite fit on an auto. So we are going to have to modify that to fit on an auto. Like I said, I just thought I'd explain this to you. So the reason why, if you're looking at it thinking, oh, you just bought that one in, that's the reason why. Now, I always, always pride myself on building everything I can where I can, but in all honesty, I can't do a better job than that. That cast elbow will flow absolutely amazing. That will flow 10 times better than what the original one did. So you can buy flanges like this on, on eBay or whatever. You can buy them with just a single hole in them like that, so I could replicate that. Um, but like I say, I'm, I'm all for giving the customers the best job I can possibly give them and that elbow there is the best job I could possibly give them. Now you can also buy the flanges, what I've got there, all elongated and you make your own. Um, I have got a job in later this week where we are going to have to do that because it's a Subaru turbo engine but it's in, I can't remember what, it's a Brat, I think, a Brat pickup. So it has to be modified to go around. So unfortunately one of these wouldn't work, so I am going to have to make one. So I will show you the one that I do make. I guarantee you it will not flow as good as that or be half as pretty. But yeah, so that's the reason why we're using that. So let's get this on. So I have had to cut the, the back part of this downpipe off. Like I say, it doesn't fit. This is an automatic. Um, so I am going to modify it. It will be easily modified. I'll just put a slip joint here, a little bit of a dog leg onto a bit, existing bit, and then that'll finish there. And all I'll do then is I'm going to work from there back. All right, guys, sorry I've not been doing much videoing. Um, just it's not really much to see. So that downpipe, what I showed you earlier, is now on. We have had to modify it slightly here, so it was five inch too long, sorry, too short to clear this gearbox. I don't know what that's about, so all we've done is just added five inch into this, clamp that onto there. Now, there used to be a two bolt flange here, and um, we've got rid of that two bolt flange, just basically because we don't need loads of joints. We're gonna come all the way down to the car here, come round here, and then we're gonna build a sound at the back, which is a single entry in, dual exit out. You'll see what that is later on in the video. Yeah, that's it. We're not going to bother putting a mid box in it because I don't think we need it. And not only that, the customer wants to hear it. So, yeah, let's get on with it. See how we uh, see how it sounds shortly. So I'm not going to bore you to death with all ins and outs. I know a lot of you people are just going to be here. All you want to do is you're going to want to see out uh, the outcome. So that's what we'll get get to it as quick as we can. I'll just show you the process as quickly as I can. It's not a game. It's a red skin.
So I'm sure you both, you all agree, looks the business. Um, don't know what it's going to sound like. Never made one for one of these before. Um, hopefully we've nailed it. We shall see. Let's let it down and see what it sounds like. He can't hear a word. He's just got pure intake and pure <laughs> exhaust in his ears. He can't hear a word I'm saying to him. <laughs> Earphones on, so we're not able to hear a thing. It sounds nice. It's exactly what customer asked for. He basically just wanted to hear it. He's not going to want this too over the top. It just said <laughs> it didn't give me any instructions. It just basically said I want to hear it. So mission accomplished on that. He can hear it. It sounds lovely. Nice little burble to it. But it's not too uh, excessive. It is an auto this, so it kind of spoils fun a little bit uh, over a manual. I don't know why anyone would go and order an STI and say, "Can I have it in automatic, please?" That is just beyond me. But anyway, exhaust sounds beautiful. So we'll, uh, we'll get this customer a call, get a car back to him. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, please, please, if you do like them, subscribe because it helps us no end. Um, helps me keep bringing you good content. Um, so all, if, you're not, if you're new to this channel, this is the first video you've watched. We are all about car content, fabrication, exhaust, and doing engine conversions, all that type of good stuff. So yeah, drop us a subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. And we'll catch you in the next one.